Hello there, I'm Rod Harrington and welcome to Ball Sports Premier League Preview. And the league is really starting to hot up now. Mervyn King heads it, another good win last week against John Park. But at the bottom, Raymond Barnvelt. We never thought we'd see Raymond at the bottom of any league, but he is sitting right at the foot. And that's because last week he was 4-1 up against James Wade, and then James Wade rolled off seven legs on the trot of over 120 average. An unbelievable, blistering performance from James Wade, and we're all hoping that we've got the real James Wade back. Another great performance last week was Terry Jenkins against Phil Taylor, getting a draw. Terry Jenkins now holds the record for the best player against Phil Taylor in all the Premier Leagues of every year. And it looks like he's now coming back on the form with a gutty performance against the power. First game up this week, John Part against Wayne Mardle. Both players need a win, need to start putting points on the board early. Wayne Mardle beaten Yellow Classen last week, but I think John Part's going to take it this week. John Part showing signs of coming back to the form that made him a world champion. Doesn't make too many mistakes. Last week against King, King didn't give him any chances. He's playing that well. But this week, I think John Part will do Wayne Mardle. About 8-4, eight, 8-5, eight, so if you want to have a bet on that, I think that's good value. Game two sees Lee Lena Mervyn King against the young man Yelly Klassen. The fast thrower, really hard to get consistently when you're throwing this fast. And I think Mervyn King will jump on it this week and he's playing blistering. He likes the big crowd now and he really plays up to it and he's playing the, probably the best darts that I've ever seen Mervyn King play. At one to two on, if you're a big punter, I think that's as sure as it gets. Third game up seems the young man James Wade against Phil the Power Taylor, and what a game this could be. It'll be a great game if James Wade turns up with the game that he finished off Raymond Barnvelt with last week. The 120 average, unbelievable over seven legs. We know what Phil Taylor's going to turn up. We know he's going to shoot over 100 average. Can James Wade turn up with the game? We're hoping so. If he does, I can see it a draw. If he doesn't and he slips up a little bit, Phil Taylor will not let him off and he will beat him about 8-4, but this could end up a draw. Last on, Terry Jenkins against Raymond Barnvelt. Raymond Barnvelt has got to put some points on the board. Bottom of the league, you don't see him there very often. And a great gutsy performance from Terry Jenkins got him a draw out of Phil Taylor, although he was 4-2 down at one point and then got back to 6-4 up. So perhaps from there, he would have gone on and won the game. But no one does that easily against Phil Taylor. So this game, it could end up a draw, but I see Terry Jenkins as the value of the evening. At 5-2 with Boyles, that has got to be the best value after his performance last week. Each week, Ball Sports give me £200 for a charity bet. My charity bet this week is John Park to beat Wayne Mardle at 23 over 20 and Terry Jenkins to draw the same 180s with Raymond Barnvelt at 4 to 1. My £200 will pay over 2,000 quid. So it's about time I got one of these up. If you'd like to take any of my tips or even have a little punt yourself, go to ballsports.com or phone on 0800 44 00 00.